When you get hacked, data is exfiltrated out the network by threat actors, adversaries, or just generally bad people, right? So that relies on network transmissions. That relies on packets being sent from one computer to the next. And when you want to analyze some of that network data, you oftentimes take a look at a packet capture. And that is a PCAP file, and we get to play with one of those right now. This capture the flag challenge says, I was trying to send a flag to my friend over UDP, the user datagram protocol, one of the networking protocols for IP or internet protocol that will actually be connectionless. It doesn't wait for a handshake or someone to really answer the phone before it starts to send data. It just spits it out and spams it out and hopes that it arrives, but it doesn't really matter in this case. We still get to go and take a look at it because we want to see what data was sent. We want to find that flag. It says one character was sent at a time, but it got corrupted. I think someone else was messing around with me and sent extra bytes, though it seems like they actually abided by RFC 3514 for once. Can you get the flag? So let's go find out what RFC 3514 is in case we've never seen it before. So with a quick Google search to add some more context, if you weren't familiar, RFC 3514 explains the security flag in the IPv4 header. It explains that firewalls, packet filters, intrusion detection systems, and others often have difficulty distinguishing between packets that have malicious intent and others that are just merely unusual. And for that reason, the security bit was brought to life. It's actually pretty cool. They end up calling this thing the evil bit, which I think is a pretty cool name. So what we need to know is that benign or innocent packets have this bet set to zero. The others that are used for an attack will oftentimes have the bit set to one. So this is good to know. This is good info because when we start to analyze this PCAP file, we can take a look out for, okay, what characters that have been sent one at a time have the packets including this evil bit or the security flag. What have been set to be harmful and what of those are innocent and benign? So I'm over here in my terminal and I have gone ahead and downloaded this ebe.pcap. That's the name of the challenge here. And if you aren't familiar, you might usually analyze PCAP files with Wireshark, a graphical utility that'll actually show you all the packets that have been sent according to this file. And you'll dig into all the different frames or layers that make up this packet. You can even get an idea for what the data looks like itself, whether or not it's in hexadecimal form down below or ASCII on the right hand side of the bottom. It's very, very cool if you haven't used it and I've showcased in a ton of other different videos, but let's go ahead and explore what the flag might be given these sort of packets here. We see all of these are UDP, but some of them change their raw load or the payload that's sent with the specific packet here. Notice as I switch in between each one, it changes to be a different value or a different character that's sent. And we know this from previous playing of this capture the flag activity, that the flag format is LACTF open curly brace. So this first packet with a capital L, probably not it. Lowercase p, probably not it. Why? Eh, we can kind of do this small, simple guess and check. Here's a lowercase l, but going through this for all of the packets here might take a long time and doing it by hand would just kind of suck. We have what, 200, 308 packets here. So we have to find a way to automate this. But we've left out the best part here. We want to take a look at the flags. Do we have any of the evil flags or the evil bit set? Take a look at the first couple of packets here. You can see that they do have a one denoted here for this bit. And if I actually move down to the lowercase L that we saw just a moment ago, that is a zero. So let's kind of grow through that with another manual process just to see, hey, another bad packet, that one is set for a flag. Let's check out another and another and another until we get to the next zero that's set for the evil bit and note that that is the lowercase letter A. And that matches our style and format of the flag being LACTF. Now we can start to script this out and write some code. Now we can do this really, really easily by using one of the scripting languages that we all know and love called Python. And we can actually use one of their packet processing modules or like libraries that allow us to do this a heck of a lot faster. And that is Scapy or Scappy, however you wanna call it. I've got a lot of warnings. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> if you ignore all of my warnings, it does give us a kind of cool little ASCII art logo. Welcome to Scapy and you can interact with it interactively. Like you can type on the command line and do some of these things, but it is a Python library. So you could just as easily start up a Python script. I'll call mine just play.py. I'm using sublime text as my editor here. And let me start with a shebang line as we always do. That tells the system that we wanna go ahead and use Python to process this once we mark it as executable. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Capture the talent. 
an organization with the mission to bring cybersecurity training to life. Based in the UK, with a combined 20 years in the cybersecurity industry, including the past head of content at Hack the Box and the previous developer of the Dante Pro Lab, Capture the Talent brings custom cybersecurity training to you and your team. Capture the Talent offers fun and engaging CTF events and competitions for recruiting, skill assessment, or team building. You and your personnel shape the training based off of your own objectives and desired outcomes. Whether or not your team is AppSec focused, student driven, or what have you, Capture the Talent provides a dynamic offering for what you need. And it's not just technical skills that can be sharpened. Soft skills are a necessary part of our industry just as well. With Capture the Talent Cyber Escape Rooms, experience interactive team building events that can be run virtually or in person. Cyber Escape Rooms are made up of a series of hands-on challenges divided into four zones, each with a different focus based on your team's capabilities, tech stack, and interests. Give your team a new style of training with a Cyber Escape Room. Level up your techs and upskill your people with tailored cybersecurity training made custom for you and your team. You can use my link in the video description to book a discovery call and find out more. Get started with Capture the Talent and bring cybersecurity training to life. Huge thanks to Capture the Talent for sponsoring this video. And let's use from scapy.all import star, or import the asterisk to take everything from that namespace of scapy, that library that we're importing. And now we want to go ahead and define what our packets might be. That's going to end up calling the rd pcap function or read pcap. You'll note that it's okay a function because of our parentheses here, and it needs a string argument to denote the file name that you want to read from. So we know that's in our current directory, so I'll use the period to denote that, and I'll use ebe.pcap, and I think that was all caps, right? So that will load in all the packets. Sometimes this takes a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and print out a little status message. Hey, we are reading from pcap. And if we wanted to be really, really pedantic, we may as well just go ahead and set a file name variable for that string. We can pass that in. We can make this a simple F string. So we just nice display the file name here. And I'll actually add that equal sign at the end there. So it displays the variable name alongside it. But we don't need single quotes for that. Okay, enough cleaning. Now we wanna loop through all of the packets inside of the packets that we've rolled from. So I could do four packets in packets really nice and verbose here. Maybe you wanted to have that variable be the letter P, doesn't matter, you get to choose. What I like to do is I like to examine each of these and see what Scapy actually sees. I want you to show me all the properties that you understand, and then I might be able to put together the puzzle pieces as to what I need to write in this code. So let me go ahead and actually display that out, but because I'm gonna be looping through all of these, it's just gonna flood and spam all of those packets at once. I'm gonna put a little bit of break just by asking for user input on each one. That way once I hit enter, I can go see the next packet and the next packet and the next packet. Just some simple troubleshooting. We could go ahead and fire this up with Python. I know if I interact with it this way, I don't need to use chmod and didn't need the shebang line, whatever, good practice. Let's hit enter on this thing. It says it's reading from the pcap and check it out. This is the very, very first packet that it's been able to read. We can see all of the same headers that we saw within Wireshark, and it even tells me, hey, the flags here, it sees the evil flag set. The evil bit is set to one, and it's on, and this should be one that we ignore. Because, hey, the raw payload that we see here, the load is that capital L, and we don't want that. We want all the ones that are good and innocent to benign that don't have the flag set. So if I hit enter a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, you can see the load changing here. But if I hit enter until I get to one where we know it is a proper flag character, there are no flags set. Evil is not included in that set. So we know that this is what we need to filter on. We need to be able to dig these out. So let's do that in our code. I'll switch back over to sublime text and I'll check if my packet has in that IP header that we just saw there, we wanted to examine the flags, and we actually wanted to make sure there were no evil flags set in there. And it was just a simple string, right? We saw it printed out on the command line. So I could say, if evil is in P flags, don't do anything. Ignore that packet and drop it. We actually don't even need to set this up this way. We could just be saying, hey, I only want to look for the packets that do not have evil in there. And in the case that they don't, we know it's a good flag character, right? So we should try and print out the packets 
raw layer. Now note, I'm not using uh, single quotes or double quotes around this because this is Scapey's actual module selector or some way to say, I wanna grab this layer from this packet. And I know I want the property from that underneath this layer with load, with the actual payload of that packet. So I could print that out nice and easy and it's gonna spit it all out on the command line. So we should probably maybe split that up a little bit, but just for the sake of the proof of concept, let's try and run this script now. There we go, okay. Uh, scrolling up to the top of it. Yep, that is LACTF with an open curly brace, ends in a curly brace. So I think we're good, but it is printing it out in bytes. You see the preceding B in front of the string. So what we could do is actually decode this as UTF-8, as just the sort of standard, hey, carve out the actual string value here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass another argument to print because in Python 3, you can say, look, I don't want you to end with a new line character. In fact, I don't want you to end with anything. Just keep printing out on the same line, please. And we can do that nice and easy. And with that, let me run that script. There we go. <laughs> We've carved out our flag. Check it out. LACTF, open and curly brace, and here's some sweet lead speak, evil bit exfiltration for the win. And the random hexadecimal. So I dig that. That is how we could carve up this network traffic, find out what is the information that we really want out of this spaghetti, and go find it. Track it down and carve it out. So that is the Python code, super simple, super easy to be able to dig that out with just, hey, filtering on only the evil packets that we might need. Hey, if you happen to solve it with a simple one-liner on the command line, please, please, please write that in a comment. That'd be super cool. With that, we can hop back over to the scoreboard, paste in our flag here and submit it for points, but the game is over and uh, <laughs> this is all just for the, the fun of it. Hey, I hope you learned something in this. If you haven't played with Scapey before, it is one awesome utility that you can use within your own code to be able to dig through PCAP files and network packets. If you don't know exactly all that you want to be getting into with Scapey, check out the documentation or just do a little bit of that exploratory stuff that I was just showing you, where you just check out what the module is already finding about for each packet and examine and see what you could dig out and how you might be able to access it. With that, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.